The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam. First Canto, 8th Chapter, Text Number 45 Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Recorded on October 25th, 1974, in Mayapur, India. Sāna bhāram ittu mantra pravishya gajasāyam Sriyascha Sapurang Jasyan Premna Rajya Nivarita. So, this verse, all the ladies of the palace, it is natural for ladies when there is separation, they cry. So, they are shedding tears. But Maharaj Yudhishthir asked them to stop, not to cry, because it may be inauspicious. Krishna is going home and uh, everyone should give him farewell, a smiling face, but they could not do so. It was not possible. They were feeling so much of Krishna's separation, that they are crying, and Maharaj Yudhishthir asked them not to cry. <clears throat> no one could make Lord Krishna stay at Hastinapur when he decided to start for Dwarka. But the simple request Yudhishthir, that the Lord remain there for a few days more was immediately effective. This signifies that the power of the king of loving affection, which the Lord could not deny, the Almighty God thus conquered only by loving service. Hmm. Krishna, although ready for going, still Yudhishthi Maharaj uh, stopped. And because uh, Yudhishthi Maharaj is the elder cousin of Krishna, and very exalted, pious king, could not, Krishna could not refuse the order. The, Almighty God is thus conquered only by loving service and nothing else. Prayana, prayasa ajito vi jita Krishna is ajito. Nobody can conquer Krishna. Nobody can order Krishna. Nobody can supersede Krishna. Nobody is greater than Krishna. Nobody is equal to Krishna. Nobody is powerful than Krishna. Nobody is richer. Everything. Krishna is the supreme being. Therefore, his another name is Ajita. Ajita means, Jita means conquered, Ajita means who is never conquered. Uh, Krishna had so many fights with the demons. Even in his childhood, the demons could not conquer over Krishna. Beginning from Putana, when he was only three months old, and after the killing of uh, so many other demons. <clears throat> Krishna was never defeated. That is the history. He was never defeated. Uh, <clears throat> Ajita. Therefore his name is Ajita. Uh, but Ajita becomes conquered. Ajitopi jitapasi. 
although King Krishna is never conquered, still you can conquer him. How? Simply by becoming his beloved devotee. <coughs> Just like Bhishma Dev. Bhishma Dev is one of the uh, recognized stalwart devotee of Krishna, Mahajan, authority. Whatever Bhishma will speak on devotional service, that is authoritative. All the twelve Mahajans, uh, Sambhu, Narada, Sambhu, Kapila, Kumara, Manu, Prahlada, Janaka, Bhishma. So, Bhishma wanted to conquer over Krishna. He promised. How he conquered, that you know the story, that when Dujadhan <coughs> showed some reluctance that, my dear grandfather, you are not fighting with the Pandavas wholeheartedly because you have got affection for them. So you are on my side. You should fight wholeheartedly. A little criticizing. So, to in order to please Dujyadhan, uh, Bhishma promised that tomorrow I shall kill all the five brothers. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Do that. But they cannot be saved unless Krishna breaks his promise. Krishna said that both the parties were informed that it is family fight. I cannot take part in the family, but I can divide myself into two, my soldiers one side and I am one side. But even if I am in one side, I will not fight. So this was his promise that he will not fight in the battle of Kurukshetra, but uh, Bhishma obliged him to fight, to break his promise in order to save Arjuna. Therefore, Bhishma conquered over Krishna because he had to break his promise. Uh, Arjuna was in such a precarious condition that unless Krishna would take up the weapon to stop Bhishma, Bhishma was determined. All right, let, let me kill my grandson. Hmm? So in battlefield, uh, it was a great ocean of fighting, and Bhishma, Drona, Karna, they are com compared with big, big sharks, crocodiles in the ocean. That was described by Parikit Maharaj that only for Krishna my grandfather Arjuna was saved. Otherwise uh, it was impossible for my grandfather uh, to conquer over the fight, uh, to come out victorious. It is simply due to Krishna. <clears throat> so Bhishma uh, conquered over Krishna. Uh, instead of conquering over Arjuna, he conquered over uh, Krishna. Hmm. So similarly, here also, Maharaj Yudhishthi, uh, he conquered over Krishna's decision. Uh, uh, if we become uh, devotee of Krishna, then Ajitopi uh, Jitapasya. This is the uh, statement of Lord Brahma that Krishna can be conquered, just like Yasodama, 
conquered over Krishna. The Damodar Sutra you are reading, how Krishna is afraid of his mother. So any devotee can attain that stage controlling Krishna by love and affection. There is no question. A devotee never uh, likes to control over Krishna. They want to serve Krishna. This is also service. When a devotee conquers about Krishna or controls about Krishna, that is also service. That is not actually controlling. Because Krishna wants to be controlled. Just like a father sometimes says to his children, small children, to rise over the body and they kick the father. And they, the father feels some relief. It is a kind of massaging. So, uh, <clears throat> similarly, uh, everyone worships Krishna as the Supreme Being. And therefore, Krishna wants sometimes uh, to be um, um, thought as insignificant subordinate. That is stated in the Chaitanya Charitamrita that uh, everyone worships me, but without worshipping, if somebody uh, I mean, controls over me, uh, I am very much happy. Uh, so to control over Krishna is not a very easy job unless one is a great devotee. He cannot. They just like the cowherd boys. Uh, they used to rise on the shoulder of Krishna. Krishna was defeated in play. So the bait was that one who is defeated, he would take the other party on his shoulder. So Krishna became defeated. Ittham satang brahma sukhan bhutya Dasangatanam paradaivatena maya sitanam naradarakena sadhang bijarahu kritapunna punya. When Krishna is playing like that, taking his friend on the shoulder. So, Sukhdev Goswami made a statement uh, Who is this person? taking his friend on his shoulder. Na ittham satang brahma sukhan bhutya. The great great sages, impersonalists, they merge into the brahma sukha. So, uh, Brahma Sukha, Brahma is the effulgence of body of Krishna. Jasya Prabha Prabhavato Jagadanda Koti. Brahma, impersonal Brahma is the rays of the body of Krishna. Therefore, Sukhdev Goswami is pointing out that here is the source of Brahma Sukha. The impersonal is they take pleasure to march into Brahma Sukha, but here the personality, Krishna, who is taking his friend on his shoulder, he is the source of Brahma Sukha. In other words, the impersonalist enjoy Brahma Sukha and the devotee enjoys that Supreme Brahma by rising up on his shoulder. That is the position of the devotee. Ittham satang brahma sukhan vhutya dasangatanang naradaivati. And he is the supreme person for the devotees. 
dasangata, those who have accepted to become the servant, eternal servant of Krishna. So for them, here is the Supreme Person. And maya sitanang nardarakina, those who are under the influence of maya, they are seeing Krishna as ordinary human child. Maya says. And who are playing? Sadhang vijarahu krita punna punya. They have come to this position so much so that they are rising on the shoulder of Krishna. How? Krita punna punya. Punna punya. Heaps of pious activities. Many, many lives. First of all, one has to understand Krishna after becoming uh, very, very perfect. Manasyanam sahasya su kaschit jatati siddhai jatatam api siddhyanam kaschit vettimam tattva. Out of many millions of persons, somebody is interested in making this life perfect. Generally, the karmis, uh, uh, they do not know what is the perfection of life. Therefore it is said, manusanam sahasyesu kacche jatati siddhaya. They are being carried away by the waves of material nature. Therefore, Bhaktivana Thakur is warning my dear friends, why you are being carried away by the waves of this material ocean? Mayarvase jatcha vese, kacha havu This is Vaishnava's desire. Vaishnava, paradukha dukhi. Paradukha dukhi, ki pambudhi. Vaishnava vision is different. Vaishnava vision is because he can see what is the position of this maya sitana. Those who have taken shelter of this maya, what is their position? Position is miserable, dukkhalam, asasatam, and they are being carried away by the waves. Today one kind of body, tomorrow another body, tomorrow our next life. Sindhu say, uh, the karmis are being carried out. So, therefore, out of sim- such millions of karmis, one becomes gani. Gani. Koti karmi madhe ak gani srishtu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said. They are out of Many, many karmis, one who is gani. Gani means one who knows that I am not this body, I am spirit, but still there is some mistake. They think that I am the supreme spirit. So, hum. Ah. Maya is so strong, even after so much austerities coming practically on the verge of perfection, they are misled by Maya. The Soham, Soham means I am the same. But I am the same does not mean I am the same supreme. I am the same in quality. Soham does not mean that I am as uh, good as the Supreme Brahma. It does not mean. Part is never equal to the whole. We are part of the Supreme Brahma, Mamai Vangsa. So, in quality, just like a small particle of gold is also gold. Quality is the same. A small drop of sea water is 
the same quality, salty, but that does not mean the drop of sea water uh, becomes uh, this sea. Their maya is so strong. Therefore, Bhagavad says the, the impersonalist, Mayavadis, although they think that they have become one with the Supreme, but their intelligence is not yet complete. Janne Rabindakha Bhimukta Mani. They think like that, now we have become perfect, Narayan. Uh, but uh, Bhagavad says, Sir, you may think like that, that you have become liberated, but you are not liberated because you are still in ignorance, because you are thinking one with the Supreme. Abhishuddha buddhaya, your intelligence is not yet perfect. Therefore Krishna says, Jatatama pi siddhyana koschit vetti maam tattva. Siddha, gyanis are siddhas, yogis are siddhas, although they are trying their best to become perfect, but still they are missing Krishna on account of avishuddha buddhi, and therefore āruddhya-kṛcceṇa parang padang tata Although by austerities they come to that platform of uh, brahma anuha brahma-realization, still they fall down. anādita-jusmat-angraya on account of neglecting to worship the Supreme Personality of God. So they cannot understand him. Koschit. Krishna says, Koschit Vetti Maham Tattva. Not that everyone Gani will understand. Hmm. Even one is Gani, then he will take many births to understand Krishna. Bhavnam Janvanam Ante Gyanavan Maang Prapadyat. So, to understand God, the Supreme Being, who is controlling the whole universe. Uh, it is very, very difficult to understand Him. But if we become devotee, uh, then Krishna reveals Himself. Uh, that is, then not only the devotee understands what is Krishna, but he attains the position that he can order over Krishna, he can control Krishna. This is devotee's position. Uh, so why devotees should aspire for merging into the effulgence of Krishna's race? They have got a different position. Uh, so <coughs> we should try to become a devotee and simply by service. Uh, you can become a perfect devotee simply by service. There is no other method. Bhaktyamama uh, vijanati. Bhakti means service. Uh, simply, that is bhakti. Sevan vakhe hi jivhadu. Simply the spirit, bhakti. Uh, Bhakti Uttama, Anukulena Krishna Nusilanam. Bhakti Uttama, Anukulena. Whatever Krishna orders, if you discharge that, that is bhakti. Uh, simply favorable to Krishna. Uh, whatever Krishna says, so Krishna says very simple thing. Sarva Dharman Puritajya Mamekam Saranam Vaya. If we become intelligent enough, then we fully surrender to Krishna. And Krishna says, Manmana bhava madhvakta madhyaji We take up the principle 
uh, to think of Krishna always, 24 hours. Satatam chintam kirtam tangama. If you chant Krishna's name, then satatam, 24 hours. That is possible. Just like Haridas Thakur used to do. Hmm? Then you uh, think of Krishna without fail and other things automatically come. Manmana Bhavamokta. Who can devote so much time for thinking of, unless he has become a devote? So Manmana Bhavamad Bhakta, Madhyaji, and a devotee is always ready to worship Krishna, offering obeisances, however big he may be. In this way, uh, we can attain this position of Maharaj Yudhishthi or Yasada Mai when Krishna the Ajita uh, could be controlled even by the devotee. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.